Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode in where we are going to see the interface of the software and how to navigate properly. Well, first of all, we have to take into account that Lumion is organized in two sides. Let's say that we have the left side and the right side. In the left side, we have this main menu in which we can find four categories. We have content library with all of these options below. We have materials, and then when I click on it, it appears another menu. Then we have landscape, and then we have weather. If we go back to content library, and we go to the upper part of the screen, we find that we have here different layers. We can create more layers, and we will be able to organize our geometry inside of them. On the other hand, at the right side, we have this main menu in where we can see that the build button is already pressed. It means that we are in the build viewport in where we are going to work most of the time. Well, we have as well the photo menu, the movie menu, the panorama menu and the files menu. We have as well the setting menu and the help menu. Here we have a very useful advices for having a better navigation in the program. We will go through it a little bit later. A part of this, if we look here carefully, we will find different shortcuts that can be very, very useful as well. In the upper part of this part of the screen, we have the set eye level. The camera will be set at 1.6 meters. And we have this rectangle with this number in where we will find information about how it's been used the graphic card. Remember that my graphic card had just two gigabytes of speed. Here it is said the percentage in use at this moment. At the same time, we can find here the number of frames per second which is being used by the graphic card. Now we can see that this number is very low it is in red, in fact, and it is warning us that the graphics are very slow. We will see a little bit later when we import a model how to improve these frames per second. Well, once we have seen how is organized the interface of the program, let's start importing our first model into Lumion. So, here in Content Library, we will go to this green button, Import. Let's click it. And here we will choose this SketchUp file, which is attached with the course, Greek column. We will click on it. And then here it will appear this window, the import model window. Here we will have to put a name for our model and we will have to choose in which folder we want to place that model. So let's place it in the main library and let's go to the next option. Here, import edges or lines. We can put it on or off. My advice is that you always put this option off because we don't want to import all the lines. So we say, okay. And here, look that I am just moving around the mouse. So I have to click in one point. I suggest you to click near the excess. And then I have the option of continue clicking and place more models in my viewport. I don't want to do that, so I will click on the escape button. As you can see now, I have imported my first model. It is the Greek column and here in the imported models library, it appears one element. The name is Greek column. I can put it on my favorites or I can delete it by clicking twice. Well, let's start the navigation. Look that we have here this target and a part of that target, I have the clicking mouse. They work separately. At the same time, I have my axis. So here we can see that we have the blue axis and the red axis. It is important to take into account that in Lumion, the green axis is vertical and the blue axe is horizontal. This is something strange and in my opinion it should change because normally in all the programs in the world the blue axe, the set axe, is always in the vertical position and the green one is always in the horizontal position with the red one. 
remember this information because in the future it will be important. So, if we want to start to navigate, then we have to use the right button of the mouse. Look that with that right button, I'm gonna move the target. Now I am just moving the target and the target is pointing the camera down in this case, up in this case, right and left. When I press this right button, you can see that at the right side I have different shortcuts for my keyboard. So the main shortcuts are the following. Q, W, E, A, S, D. They are in the keyboard in the left part. Look that Q and E goes up and down. W and S works for going forward and backwards. And A and D work for going to the left or going to the right. At the same time, we can use the arrows of the keyboard. If I want to move the camera up or down, then I will have to use yes or yes, Q and E letters. So besides this, we have to use a lot the right button of the mouse. Look, if we put the target pointing to the column in this case, and I keep pressing that right button, and then I press to the letter D for moving to the right, look that if I move that target always pointing to that column, I'm gonna move around the column. That is very, very interesting. With the scroll of the mouse, I can zoom in or zoom out. And finally, we have another very important button. It is the letter O. Remember this letter because it's so important for the navigation in Lumion. With the letter O, if I put the target pointing the column and I press the letter O and then I press the right button and then I move, look that I'm just moving the mouse to the right side, okay? And I am moving around the column and the target is not moving because it's like fixed in that position. So this kind of movement makes my life so easy in Lumion. I can go up and then I will move around in this direction or I can move with the mouse to the bottom and I will move around in this direction. So I invite you to practice all these techniques for a good navigation in Lumion and I will see you in the next episode.